five, we're digging deeper into trouble on the south side after changes were made that were supposed to curb crime. This weekend, we had a shooting and a family attacked out of nowhere. Channel 11's Joe Arena spent the day out there speaking with Southsiders. And Joe, they say they are really just sick and tired of the violence that's happening in their neighborhood. Yeah, they really are, Lisa. And one store manager actually told me it feels like crime is happening one after the no another these days on the south side. And yesterday, that was the case. You see stories like this all the time, and you're like, oh, God, I just hope that this is not my family. But this time, a story on the news was about Kiki Brown's family. Police responded to a shot spotter alert on 13th Street early Sunday morning, and that's where they found Kiki's 33-year-old brother shot three times. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition, but Kiki says it could have been worse if not for a good Samaritan. Thank God for the person that, the young lady, I believe she was a nurse, um, she grabbed a shirt or something and pressed against the wound and stopped the bleeding. So if she wouldn't have done that, we would have lost him. Kiki tells us the shooting was the result of a bar fight and an eventual retaliation. And just a few blocks away and hours later, Sunday night, more violence. A family who just left Nakama here on 17th and East Carson was heading for their car when a woman in their group was tackled by another woman who also began grabbing her hair. According to the criminal complaint, police say one of the victims told them the attack was unprovoked by an unknown woman who was later identified as Latte Young. The report also says the husband of the woman who was tackled tried to get Young off his wife. And according to the criminal complaint, an unknown man later identified as Wesley Brown sucker punched him in the left side of the face, leaving him unconscious. Both Young and Wesley faced several assault charges. And when the officer on scene spoke with Young and Wesley, he reported Young smelled of alcoholic beverages and was highly intoxicated. Young was incoherent and she said she was quote grown and was allowed to drink and that she didn't do anything. I applaud the efforts from the people on the south side for taking those measures and closing the streets and stopping the shared rides and things like that but this happens everywhere. The thing is you have to keep the public safe so you have to do whatever is possible and necessary to make sure the public is safe. And we reached out to Pittsburgh police to see if they have a suspect in custody for that shooting on 13th Street. We're still waiting to hear back. As soon as we hear something, we'll let you know. Live in Pittsburgh tonight, Joe Arena, Channel 11 News.